Now today was a day when bulls were totally being chased by bears. The biggest bear today was Bajaj Auto. I mentioned yesterday only the results were not good. 13% down. That too on huge volumes. That took the entire auto sector down with it. The two-wheeler pack TVS Motors, Hero Motors, they cracked most after Bajaj Auto. The exits were on big volumes. The stock that was coming up with the results today, Infosys, that was up 2.5%. The good part is towards the end, Infosys spiked a bit. In case of TCS, it was a down. This is Nifty Next 50 today. Only two stocks green, LTI, Mindtree, Zydus. Down most, Hevels, the results were not good. Along with it, Siemens was down. So was ABB. Remember yesterday I said I exited ABB last week. Good stocks, but I was expecting the results not to be good. That is because the CAPEX cycle is not good this year. There is no way Siemens, ABB, Hevels, these kind of large stocks can do well. The heavy machinery pack if the CAPEX cycle is broken. Consumption pack is coming for heavy punishment right now. Colgate Palmolive down 3.6%. VBL 3.3%. DMART fell another 2%, Berger Paints down, Marico down. Overall, economy is not looking good. Nifty 50 was slightly better. That is because Infosys was up, Tech Mahindra was up, TCS was up, Reliance was up a little, HCL was up, mostly the IT pack. Consumption stocks here as well, Nestle down 3.4%. That's again bad results. Auto stocks, Maruti, Tata Motors, the feeder stocks like Tata Steel, Consumption here also, Tata Consumer, not looking good at all. IT also is dependent upon the global economy. Just like metal is right now looking at China, IT will be looking at NASDAQ and US very soon now. It was a very difficult task to find any bulls. Software and IT was the only large sector that was the winner today. What was down most? Automobiles, banking, telecom, real estate, heavy machinery. In fact, only three of the 36 sectors I track, they were green today. The money still is being made in investment banking. That's the trend for last two weeks, though investment banking was down a lot today. See, this was the investment banking pack yesterday. Only BSE was down 5%. Today, BSE was down another 6%. You will probably now be able to appreciate why I sold BSE at a loss yesterday. Not a single green. Remember I said jokingly yesterday that Motyal Oswal, the revenge trade which I bought yesterday. I said yesterday only that it will probably give me a loss only. 2.7% down for the sector which has gone up 5% in last two days. Half the gains gone. That is I always say this is not an investor's market. This is a trader's market. On the expiry day, Nifty continuously down. Bank Nifty same graph. Reliance did not go anywhere. TCS did not go anywhere. HDFC down, ICICA down, Airtel down, Infosys in expectation of its results was up. Nothing to look forward to, only Infosys standing tall. Now we have hardly fallen 1000 or 1500 points on the top, but the volume destruction or the lack of interest that is usually seen after we have fallen 10-15% from the top. Now Bajaj Finance did not fall a lot today, but this may also pay for the results of Bajaj Auto because a lot of financing for Bajaj's auto division is done by Bajaj Finance. I didn't have the auto dashboard till today. I created one today. Maruti down 2%, Mahindra 3.5%, Tata Motors down, Bajaj Auto 12.5%, the tire companies MRF, Apollo all down, Balkrishna down, the battery pack Excite down, Amaraja battery is down. Ola Electric down another 2%. Now Balakrishna Industry and Amaraja are replacement. If new vehicles are not selling, I would expect these two companies to do well. I am looking forward for the results of Persistent on Tuesday. In fact, I may increase my stake a little. Right now, I only have Infosys a little quantity in the long term portfolio. Persistent a little quantity in the long term portfolio. Now what is likely tomorrow, while I feel Infosys results are not bad at all, they are on the okay side, but the expectations is the problem. The ADR has opened in the downside 22.42 or 2% down. So Infosys may be 1 or 2% down tomorrow, but I don't expect a big cut and I won't be surprised if Infosys is slightly in the green towards the end of the day. Persistent I expect to see closer to 5800 or 6000 by the result day. No place to hide in defense, each and every stock down. 
you will keep seeing these news flows on which these stocks will go up 4-5%, 6% and then cool down. This is slowly becoming a sell on each rise kind of market for defense stocks. No good news from China, metals down. This space has been rocking since May and this is sulking right now. Consumption stocks, the alcohol stocks down, ITC down one more time. Nestle, look at the trend. Only one green day in last 15 days. Even for United Beveries, only two green days. The biggest cut was reserved for Nestle. The results were not good, slightly negative only. At the result time, the volumes were pretty high. Now Nestle is somewhere close to a support zone. If it falls from here, then we are looking at 2200 perhaps. But the stock is already appearing in the oversold zone. So unless some large funds decides to download the stock, we should be stabilizing now. The other consumption pack, the non-edible one that was showing the similar signs, DMART down 2% today also, HUL down 1.5%, Trent continues to slide a percent. Despite crude being down, Asian paints down, Titan down, Delight down, Colgate 3.6%, Marico down, no place to hide here, Imami big cut. This sector is actually looking tempting now in terms of investment. Just that the markets have corrected very little, these stocks may fall with the market more. The stock which I bought yesterday in investment banking, CAMS, that was up a bit. CAMS made a new high, Mutal Oswal of course was down 3.4%. Nothing else in the green, the biggest fall, BSC. The good part, volumes were low. CAMS and KFINTECH have not run up as much as the other stocks. CAMS, the volumes were 2.3x. MRPL results tomorrow, the volumes were 3.3x. Chennai Petro, 10x volumes. I exited Chennai Petro today, got decent profit. And that was at the peak of the day. Then it corrected MRPL as usual goes from Mumbai to Delhi every day and then realizes that the home is in the southern part of India, comes down. Now one trivia, if you are not aware, MRPL is owned by ONGC. Look at the volumes of MRPL, heavy accumulation. This is people who have expectations from the result tomorrow, continuously in the oversold zone since September. The color of the day was again red, 1.2% down for Nifty, same for Bank Nifty. And look at the comedy part, Nifty IT did not go anywhere, 0.0%. Infosys up 2.5%, TCS up 0.3%, HCL Tech also up. The top 3 IT companies were up, the index still did not go anywhere. Nifty Energy, despite Reliance being up a little, 0.17, that was down. That is because the entire oil pack was down. Next 50 down 2.4%, auto 5%. Gold nearing 77,000 now, silver nearing 92,000. In fact, the market price of all articles will be at least 10% higher than what you see on this dashboard. Bitcoin has cooled down a bit, still 67,000. Rupees continuously above 84 now, Brent is continuously below 75. Nvidia is fast moving towards being the largest company now. And with a good trend, Amazon is gunning towards the 2 trillion mark. RBI has barred four microfinance companies from doing further business or loan disbursement. Now, most of these companies they will sulk for 3-4 months, they will be destroyed to a large extent. Other NBFCs will suffer because of the cascading impact of the news. Bonds will go out of flavor. All this can impact only the FD business of banks which is suffering right now. The rest you can join the dotted lines. Hyundai IPO finally got oversubscribed 2.37x. However, retail participation was low only. So most of the people in retail who probably applied, they should, I think, get the allocation. So ECB just giving cheap loans to businesses or people will not revive the economy. NSDL also has settled their dues. 3.12 crore penalty for NSDL. This is what was blocking their IPO. 3.12 crores. 40 stocks down. 10 up, not a great day for the market. Infosys up most, contributing 8% to the uprise, followed by LNT, TCS, SBI, Tech Mahindra. As expected, Bajaj Auto was in the bottom 5, in fact, at the bottom, followed by HDFC Bank, ATL, MM, Unilever. Next 50 was worse, 48 stocks down, only 2 up. LTI Mentry was up, Zydus was up. Union Bank was down least, followed by Divi's Lab and Shri Cement. Hevels, BHEL, Bosch, Macrotech, Dolabar and Gale, they were down most. Beverages, Deep Reds, each and every company down, Varun Beverages down 3%. This is one stock which is testing the patience of all investors. 
while crude did not fall but the chemical companies did that's because the overall market was down a lot in such a bad market lnt and rvnl were up rvnl actually has been going up steadily for past few days the volumes also are good cement red adani enterprises deep cut 2.3% that's a stock i bought yesterday trent limited down 1% more Kefin was looking good till half the day but then it fell in a heap 3.5%. Hotels deep cuts today, insurance deep cuts, heavy machinery deep cuts, only CG power was up, pharma deep cuts, suddenly only two stocks remain in the green zone. Real estate, sea of red, each and every stock down, the cuts were big 4% for Macrotech and Godrej. Both Titan and Page Industries corrected, Page Industries is still green. Specialty retailers corrected, telecom deep cuts. I actually did not spend too much time in the market today. This is not today. I bought MRPL ahead of the results tomorrow. Very little quantity of SW Solar just to try out the idea. I exited Chennai Petro. It has been stuck for last 10 days or so. Time for Nugget and Infosys results. Interesting part was Infosys results were reported as not good quarter on quarter. Wipro's results were reported okay or good year on year. Now Infosys has an ADR, so the results are reported in IFRS format. Revenue 41,000 crore versus year on year 38,900 crores, a jump of 5.1%. Quarter on quarter, which did not meet expectations, was 4.2%. Cost of sales 28.4 thousand crores versus 27,031 crores. 5.3% growth roughly in line because the cost of labor is higher these days. Gross profit 12.5 thousand crore versus 11.9 or nearly 12,000 crore. A growth of 4.6%. Now this is the summary table. Let's go to the expense part. Selling and marketing expenses 5.8% is okay. Administrative expenses they have reduced which is good. Total operating expenses 4.7% only versus a sales growth of 5.1%. This is good. Operating profit 4.5%. Profit before income tax 5.5% up. That is because the costs are in control. 9.2 thousand crore against 8.8 thousand crores. Now this entry, income tax 7.2%, it's a big size entry. If revenue is growing at 5.1%, gross profit is growing 4.6%, with income tax rates remaining same, how can you pay more income tax? Either they paid less last time or they have paid in advance this time. This is the magical line which created lesser profit, 4.6%, half percent less, which perhaps the street does not like, 3.1% quarter on quarter, which was reported was even worse. The interesting part is this news was released on most portals in about 10 to 15 minutes time of Infosys publishing the results. It's a 200 page PDF of Infosys results, which they dissected perhaps using AI, Gen AI or something created a report and published in 10-15 minutes. This report was meant to pull down Infosys. Now the company has raised its full year revenue guidance, which is good. I don't see anything red which did not meet analyst expectations here. In fact, many brokerages were expecting that the IT major would raise its full year revenue guidance. This is optimism, not pessimism. Now 11 brokerages were expecting 6769 crore net profit. I have no idea what is the basis of this number. It's a mathematical number, can be anything. The stock did not meet your expectation, it is your problem. Your estimation or rather speculation skills are perhaps not that good. The good part, shareholding pattern, I like it when FII numbers go up 32.7% going up to 33.28%. Last quarter this had gone down. Now FIIs are selling like anything right now, but I always say they like Infosys more than TCS and other IT companies. DIAs also have bought 37.28% has become 37.81%. Promoters have reduced their stake a little, but very little only. Public has sold. Key highlights, I have gone through them. All of them are looking good. This is not an outperformance quarter at all. However, there is nothing wrong in the quarter. Everyone is having an average quarter in the IT industry. There is no euphoria right now. The dollar god is happy right now. We are above 84. The only villain next quarter could be the US elections. Just like India, the capex in IT in US may actually go for a toss this quarter. Now, if I look at the annual price of Infosys, it is not in oversold zone, but it is not in overbought zone either. It was in overbought zone here. This is perhaps where FIIs were buying. It has stabilized 
इन आर रेंज राइट नाउ लुकिंग फॉर डायरेक्शन सपोर्ट शुड बी समवेयर अबव सेवनटीन हंड्रेड सेवनटीन फिफ्टी काइंड नाउ लेट मी कॉन्ट्रास्ट विथ टी सी एस ओवर सोल्ड बियर टेरिटरी फॉलोइंग कंसॉलिडेटिंग द फिफ्टी डी एम ए एवरेज गोइंग अप द एंगल इंक्रीजिंग द फिफ्टी डी एम ए हैज कव डाउनवर्ड्स द एंगल इज लॉट लेसर एंड कन्वर्जिंग सी दिस कन्वर्जेंस दिस इज बैड फॉर द स्टॉक वेन दिस कन्वर्जेस स्टॉक्स गो डाउन सो इन्फोस इज लुकिंग लॉट स्ट्रॉगर दैन टी सी एस राइट नाउ टेक्निकली होप दिस एनालिसिस वॉज यूजफुल दिस इज ओनली फॉर एजुकेशनल पर्पज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग आई विल सी यू टूमोरो फॉर द लास्ट एपिसोड ऑफ द वीक